Hans Jürgen Eysenck, Ph.D., D.S.C., the 4th of March 1916 to the 4th of September 1997, was a German-born English psychologist who spent his professional career in Great Britain. He is best remembered for his work on intelligence and personality, although he worked in a wide range of areas within psychology. At the time of his death, Eysenck was the living psychologist most frequently cited in the peer-reviewed scientific journal literature. Topic. Life Eysenck was born in Berlin, Germany. His mother was Silesian-born film star Helga Molander, and his father, Eduard Anton Eysenck, was a nightclub entertainer who was once voted handsomest man on the Baltic coast. pp. 8-11. His mother was Lutheran and father Catholic. Eysenck was brought up by his maternal grandmother. His grandmother was a fervent Lutheran, but after she died in a concentration camp, Eysenck ascertained that she had come from a Jewish family, p. 80. An initial move to England in the 1930s became permanent because of his opposition to the Nazi party. My hatred of Hitler and the Nazis, and all they stood for, was so overwhelming that no argument could counter it. p. 40. Because of his German citizenship, he was initially unable to gain employment, and was almost interned during the war. He received his Ph.D. in 1940 from University College London UCL, working in the Department of Psychology under the supervision of Professor Sir Cyril Burt, with whom he had a tumultuous professional relationship throughout his working life. pp. 118-119. Eysenck was Professor of Psychology at the Institute of Psychiatry, King's College London, from 1955 to 1983. He was a major contributor to the modern scientific theory of personality and a brilliant teacher who helped found treatment for mental illnesses. Eysenck also created and developed a distinctive dimensional model of personality structure based on empirical factor analytic research, attempting to anchor these factors in biogenetic variation. In 1981, Eysenck became a founding member of the World Cultural Council. He was the founding editor of the international journal Personality and Individual Differences, and wrote about 80 books and more than 1,600 journal articles. His son Michael Eysenck is also a noted psychology professor. Hans Eysenck died of a brain tumor in a London hospice in 1997. He was an atheist. <laughs> Topic. Views and their reception Examples of publications in which Eysenck's views roused controversy include, chronologically, a paper in the 1950s concluding that available data fail to support the hypothesis that psychotherapy facilitates recovery from neurotic disorder. A chapter in Uses and Abuses of Psychology 1953 entitled What is Wrong with Psychoanalysis? The Psychology of Politics 1954 Race, Intelligence and Education 1971 in the U.S., The IQ Argument. Sex, Violence and the Media 1978. Astrology? Science or Superstition? 1982. Decline and Fall of the Freudian Empire 1985. Smoking, Personality and Stress 1991, Isingek's attitude was summarized in his autobiography Rebel with a Cause. I always felt that a scientist owes the world only one thing, and that is the truth as he sees it. If the truth contradicts deeply held beliefs, that is too bad. Tact and diplomacy are fine in international relations, in politics, perhaps even in business, in science only one thing matters, and that is the facts. He was one of the signers of the Humanist Manifesto. Topic. The Psychology of Politics 
In this book, Isink suggests that political behavior may be analyzed in terms of two independent dimensions, the traditional left-right distinction, and how tender-minded or tough-minded a person is. Isink suggests that the latter is a result of a person's introversion or extroversion respectively. Colleagues critiqued the research that formed the basis of this book, on a number of grounds, including the following. Isink claims that his findings can be applied to the British middle class as a whole, but the people in his sample were far younger and better educated than the British middle class as a whole. Supporters of different parties were recruited in different ways, communists were recruited through party branches, fascists in an unspecified manner, and supporters of other parties by giving copies of the questionnaire to his students and telling them to apply it to friends and acquaintances. Scores were obtained by applying the same weight to groups of different sizes. For example, the responses of 250 middle-class supporters of the Liberal Party were given the same weight as those of 27 working-class Liberals. Scores were rounded without explanation, in directions that supported Isingek's theories. Topic. Genetics and intelligence. Isenck advocated a strong influence from genetics and race on IQ differences. Isenck supported Arthur Jensen's questioning of whether variation in IQ between racial groups was entirely environmental see race and intelligence. In opposition to this position, Isenck was punched in the face by a protester during a talk at the London School of Economics. Isenck also received bomb threats and threats to kill his young children. Isenck claimed the media had given a misleading impression that his views were outside the mainstream scientific consensus. Isenck cited the IQ controversy, the media and public policy as showing that there was majority support for all of the main contentions he had put forward, and further claimed that there was no real debate about the matter among relevant scientists. Regarding this controversy, in 1988 S. A. Barnett described Isenck as a prolific popularizer and exemplified Isingek's writings on this topic with two passages from his early 1970s books. All the evidence to date suggests the overwhelming importance of genetic factors in producing the great variety of intellectual differences which we observe in our culture, and much of the difference observed between certain racial groups. The whole course of development of a child's intellectual capabilities is largely laid down genetically, and even extreme environmental changes have little power to alter this development. Barnett quotes additional criticism of race, intelligence and education from Sandra Scar Salopatek, who wrote in 1976 that Isingek's book was generally inflammatory, and that there is something in this book to insult almost everyone except wasps and Jews. Scar was equally critical of Isingek's hypotheses, one of which was the supposition that slavery on plantations had selected African Americans as a less intelligent subsample of Africans. Scar also criticized another statement of Isenck on the alleged significantly lower IQs of Italian, Spanish, Portuguese and Greek immigrants in the U.S. relative to the populations in their country of origin. Although Isenck is careful to say that these are not established facts because no IQ tests were given to the immigrants or non-immigrants in question, Scar writes that the careful reader would conclude that Isenck admits that scientific evidence to date does not permit a clear choice of the genetic differences interpretation of black inferiority on intelligence tests. Whereas a Quick reading of the book, however, is sure to leave the reader believing that scientific evidence today strongly supports the conclusion that U.S. blacks are genetically inferior to whites in IQ. Some of Isingek's later work was funded from the Pioneer Fund, an organization which promoted scientific racism. Isenck was opposed to the ideology of Nazism, saying, My hatred of Hitler and the Nazis, and all they stood for, was so overwhelming that no argument could counter it.
Topic effects of smoking He also received funding for consultation research via New York legal firm Jacob & Meetinger, which was acting on behalf of the tobacco industry. Asked what he felt about tobacco industry lawyers being involved in selecting scientists for research projects, he said that research should be judged on quality, not on who paid for it, adding that he had not personally profited from the funds. According to the UK newspaper The Independent, ISENC received more than £800,000 in this way. ISENC conducted many empirical investigations elucidating the role of personality in cigarette smoking and disease. Topic. Genetics of personality In 1951, Isingek's first empirical study into the genetics of personality was published. It was an investigation carried out with his student and associate Donald Prell, from 1948 to 1951, in which identical monozygotic and fraternal dizygotic twins, ages 11 and 12, were tested for neuroticism. It is described in detail in an article published in the Journal of Mental Science. Isenck and Prell concluded that, the factor of neuroticism is not a statistical artifact, but constitutes a biological unit which is inherited as a whole. Neurotic predisposition is to a large extent hereditarily determined. Topic model of personality The two personality dimensions extroversion and neuroticism were described in his 1967 book Dimensions of Personality. It is common practice in personality psychology to refer to the dimensions by the first letters, E and N. E and N provided a two-dimensional space to describe individual differences in behavior. Isenck noted how these two dimensions were similar to the four personality types first proposed by the Greek physician Galen. High N and high E equals choleric type high N and low E equals melancholic type low N and high E equals sanguine type low N and low E equals phlegmatic type The third dimension, psychoticism, was added to the model in the late 1970s, based upon collaborations between Isenck and his wife, Sybil B. G. Isenck e.g., Isenck and Isenck, 1976. The major strength of Isingek's model was to provide detailed theory of the causes of personality. For example, Isenck proposed that extroversion was caused by variability in cortical arousal. Introverts are characterized by higher levels of activity than extroverts and so are chronically more cortically aroused than extroverts. Similarly, Isenck proposed that location within the neuroticism dimension was determined by individual differences in the limbic system. While it seems counterintuitive to suppose that introverts are more aroused than extroverts, the putative effect this has on behavior is such that the introvert seeks lower levels of stimulation. Conversely, the extrovert seeks to heighten his or her arousal to a more favorable level as predicted by the Yerkes-Dodson law by increased activity, social engagement and other stimulation-seeking behaviors. Topic comparison with other theories Jeffrey Allen Gray, a former student of Isingix, developed a comprehensive alternative theoretical interpretation called Gray's Biopsychological Theory of Personality of the biological and psychological data studied by Isenck, leaning more heavily on animal and learning models. Currently, the most widely used model of personality is the Big Five model. The purported traits in the Big Five model are as follows, conscientiousness, agreeableness, neuroticism, openness to experience, extroversion, extroversion and neuroticism in the Big Five are very similar to Isingek's traits of the same name. However, what he calls the trait of psychoticism corresponds to two traits in the Big Five model, conscientiousness and agreeableness, Goldberg and Rosalek, 1994. Isingek's personality system did not address openness to experience. He argued that his approach was a better description of personality. Topic. Psychometric scales Isingek's theory of personality is closely linked with the psychometric scales that he and his co-workers constructed. 
These included the Modsley Personality Inventory MPI, the iSync Personality Inventory EPI, the iSync Personality Questionnaire EPQ, as well as the revised version EPQR and its corresponding short form EPQRS. The iSync Personality Profiler EP, breaks down different facets of each trait considered in the model. There has been some debate about whether these facets should include impulsivity as a facet of extroversion as Isink declared in his early work, or of psychoticism, as he declared in his later work. Topic. Publication in far-right-wing press Isink was accused of being a supporter of political causes on the extreme right. Connecting arguments were that Isink had articles published in the German newspaper National Zeitung, which called him contributor, and in Nation und Europa, and that he wrote the preface to a book by a far-right French writer named Pierre Krebs, Das Unverganglische Erbe, that was published by Krebs' Thule Seminar. Linguist Siegfried Jaeger interpreted the preface to Krebs' book as having railed against the equality of people, presenting it as an untenable ideological doctrine. In the National Zeitung Isenck reproached Sigmund Freud for alleged trickiness and lack of frankness. Other incidents that fueled Isingek's critics like Michael Billig and Stephen Rose include the appearance of Isingek's books on UK National Front's list of recommended readings and an interview with Isingek published by National Front's Beacon 1977 and later republished in the US neo-fascist Stepping Stones. A similar interview had been published a year before by Nui Anthropology, described by Isingek's biographer Roderick Buchanan as a sister publication to Mankind Quarterly, having similar contributors and sometimes sharing the same articles. Isenck also wrote an introduction for Roger Pearson's race, Intelligence and Bias in Academe. In this introduction to Pearson's book, Isenck retorts that his critics are the scattered troops of the new left, who have adopted the psychology of the fascists. Isenck book The Inequality of Man, translated in French as L'Inigalite de l'Homme, was published by GRECE's publishing house, Editions Corpernic. In 1974 Isenck became a member of the Academic Advisory Council of Mankind Quarterly, joining those associated with the journal in attempting to reinvent it as a more mainstream academic vehicle. Billig asserts that in the same year Isink also became a member of the Comité de Patronage of GRECE's Nouvelle École, remarking on Isingek's alleged right-wing connections, Buchanan writes, For those looking to thoroughly demonize Isink, his links with far-right groups revealed his true political sympathies. According to Buchanan, these harsh critics interpreted Isingek's writings as overtly racist. Furthermore, Buchanan writes that Isingek's fiercest critics were convinced that Isink was willfully misrepresenting a dark political agenda. Buchanan argued that there appeared to be no hidden agenda to Hans Isink. He was too self-absorbed, too preoccupied with his own aspirations as a great scientist to harbor specific political aims. As Buchanan commented, Harder to brush off was the impression that Isink was insensitive, even willfully blind to the way his work played out in a wider political context. He did not want to believe, almost to the point of utter refusal, that his work gave succor to right-wing racialist groups. But there is little doubt that Jensen and Isink helped revive the confidence of these groups. It was unexpected vindication from a respectable scientific quarter. The cautionary language of Isingek's interpretation of the evidence made little difference. To the racialist right, a genetic basis for group differences in intelligence bore out racialist claims of inherent, immutable hierarchy. According to Buchanan, Isink believed that the quality of his research would help temper social wrongs and excesses. Isingek's defense was that he did not shy away from publishing or being interviewed in controversial publications, and that he did not necessarily share their editorial viewpoint. As examples, Buchanan mentions contributions by Isink to pornographic magazines Mayfair and Penthouse. 
Isenck described his views in the introduction to race, education and intelligence. My recognition of the importance of the racial problem, and my own attitudes of opposition to any kind of racial segregation, and hatred for those who suppress any sector of the community on grounds of race or sex or religion were determined in part by the fact that I grew up in Germany, at a time when Hitlerism was becoming the very widely held doctrine which finally prevailed and led to the deaths of several million Jews whose only crime was that they belonged to an imaginary race which had been dreamed up by a group of men in whom insanity was mixed in equal parts with craftiness, paranoia with guile, and villainy with sadism. Topic. Later work In 1994, he was one of 52 signatories on Mainstream Science on Intelligence. An editorial written by Linda Gottfredson and published in the Wall Street Journal, which described the consensus of the signing scholars on issues related to intelligence research following the publication of the book The Bell Curve. Isenck included the entire editorial in his 1998 book Intelligence, A New Look. Isenck believed that empirical evidence supported the existence of parapsychology and astrology. He attracted criticism from skeptics for endorsing the paranormal. Henry Gordon for example stated that Isingek's viewpoint was incredibly naive because many of the parapsychology experiments he cited as evidence contained serious problems and were never replicated. Magician and skeptic James Randi noted that Isingek had supported fraudulent psychics as genuine and had not mentioned their sleight of hand. According to Randy, he had given a totally one-sided view of the subject. Topic. Portraits There are five portraits of Isenck in the British National Portrait Gallery Permanent Collection, including works by anne Catherine Perkis and Elliot and Fry. Topic. Biographies H. B. Gibson, Tony Gibson, who worked with Isenck at the Institute of Psychiatry, published a biography of him. Isenck's autobiography was published in 1990 and revised in 1997. A biography of Isenck written by Roderick Buchanan was published by Oxford University Press in 2010, Buchanan, Roderick J. 2010. Playing with Fire, the Controversial Career of Hans J. Isenck. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-856688-5. Lay Summary The 23rd of October 2010, Most Recent Biography, Core, PJ 2016. Hans Isenck, A Contradictory Psychology, Mind Shapers Series. London, Palgrave. Topic. Works. Topic Books Dimensions of Personality 1947 The Scientific Study of Personality 1952 The Structure of Human Personality 1952 and Later Editions Uses and Abuses of Psychology 1953 The Psychology of Politics 1954 Psychology and the Foundations of Psychiatry 1955 Sense and Nonsense in Psychology 1956 The Dynamics of Anxiety and Hysteria 1957 Perceptual Processes and Mental Illnesses 1957 with G. Granger and J. C. Bringelman Manual of the Maudsley Personality Inventory 1959 Know Your Own IQ 1962 Crime and Personality 1964 and Later Editions Manual of the Isenck Personality Inventory 1964 with S. B. G. Isenck The Causes and Cures of Neuroses 1965 with S. Ratchman Fact and Fiction in Psychology 1965 Smoking, Health and Personality 1965 Check Your Own IQ 1966 The Effects of Psychotherapy 1966 The Biological Basis of Personality 1967 Isenck, H.J. and Isenck, S.B.G. 1969. 
Personality Structure and Measurement. London, Routledge. Readings in Extroversion, Introversion, 1971, Three Volumes Race, Intelligence and Education, 1971, in U.S. as the IQ Argument Psychology as About People, 1972, Lexicon de Psychology, 1972, Three Volumes, with W. Arnold and R. Maley The Inequality of Man, 1973. German translation Die Ungleichheit der Menschen. Munich, Goldman, 1978. With an introduction by Isenck. Isenck, Hans J., Wilson, Glenn D. 1973. The Experimental Study of Freudian Theories. London, Methuen & Co. Ltd. SBN 416780105. Isenck, Hans J., Wilson, Glenn D. 1976. Know Your Own Personality. Harmonsworth, Eng. Baltimore etc., Penguin Books. ISBN 9780140219673. Isenck, Hans J. Wilson, Glenn D. 1976. A Textbook of Human Psychology. Lancaster, MTP Press. Sex and Personality, 1976, Isenck, H. J. and Isenck, S. B. G. 1976. Psychoticism as a Dimension of Personality. London, Hodder and Stoughton. Reminiscence, Motivation and Personality, 1977, with C. D. Frith, U. and Neurosis, 1977, Die Zukunft der Psychologie, 1977, Isenck, Hans J., Nias, David K. B., 1979. Sex, Violence, and the Media. New York, HarperCollins. ISBN 9780060906842. Isenck, Hans J., Wilson, Glenn D., 1979. The Psychology of Sex. London, J. M. Dent. ISBN 9780460043393. The Causes and Effects of Smoking, 1980, Mindwatching, 1981, with M. W. Isenck, and later editions The Battle for the Mind, 1981, with L. J. Kameen, in U.S. as the Intelligence Controversy Personality, Genetics and Behavior, 1982, Explaining the Unexplained, 1982, Second Edition, 1993, with Carl Sargent H. J. Isenck and D. K. B. Nias, Astrology, Science or Superstition. Penguin Books, 1982, ISBN 0-14-022397-5 Know Your Own Psy Q, 1983, with Carl Sargent, I Do. Your Happy Guide to Marriage, 1983, with B. N. Kelly Personality and Individual Differences, A Natural Science Approach, 1985, with M. W. Isenck Decline and Fall of the Freudian Empire, 1985, Rauchen und Gesundheit, 1987, The Causes and Cures of Criminality, 1989, with G. H. Gujonson Genes, Culture and Personality, An Empirical Approach, 1989, with L. Eves and N. Martin Mindwatching, 1989 with M. W. Isenck. Prion, ISBN 1-85375-194-4 Genius, The Natural History of Creativity 1995. Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-48014-0 Intelligence, A New Look 1998. Topic. Edited books Handbook of Abnormal Psychology 1960, Editor, Later Editions Experiments in Personality 1960, Two Volumes, Editor Behavior Therapy and Neuroses 1960, Editor Experiments with Drugs 1963, Editor Experiments in Motivation, 1964, Editor. Isenck on Extroversion, 1973, Editor. The Measurement of Intelligence, 1973, Editor. 
Case Histories in Behavior Therapy, 1974, Editor. The Measurement of Personality, 1976, Editor. Isenck, Hans J., Wilson, Glenn D., 1978. The Psychological Basis of Ideology. Baltimore, University Park Press. ISBN 9780839112278. Hansen, Wilson, Glenn D. 1981, Editor. A Model for Intelligence, 1982, Editor Asterisk Suggestion and Suggestibility, 1989, Editor, with V. A. Gorgio, P. Netter, and R. Rosenthal Asterisk Personality Dimensions and Arousal, 1987, Editor, with J. Strelau. Theoretical Foundations of Behavior Therapy, 1988, Editor, with I. Martin. Topic. Selected articles Isenck, H. J. October 1952. The Effects of Psychotherapy, an Evaluation. Journal of Consulting Psychology, 16, 5, 319 324. doi 10.1037 per hours 0063633. PMID 13,035. Isenck, H. J. 1969. The Rise of the Mediocracy. In Black Paper 2, The Crisis in Education, Critical Quarterly Society. Isenck, H. J. 1987. Thomson's Bonds or Spearman's Energy, 60 Years On. Mankind Quarterly, 27, 3, 259-274. Isenck, H. J. 1992. A Reply to Costa and McRae. P or A and C. The Role of Theory. Personality and Individual Differences. 13 8, 867-868. doi, 10.1016, 0191 8869 8 Isenck, H. J. 1992. Four Ways Five Factors Are Not Basic. Personality and Individual Differences. 13, 6, 667 to 673. doi 10.1016, 0191 8869 92 90237 J. Topic Other. Preface to Pierre Krebs. Das Unverganglich Herb. Topic. See also. Biological basis of personality. EPQ. Scientific racism. <laughs>